Yes, you can have a whole ebook on a spectrum. Here is H.G. Wells' famous book, War of the Worlds, on three floppy disks. As you can see, I'm using a standard Sinclair Spectrum 128K, commonly called the Toast Rack, and an Opus Discovery 1 floppy drive disk interface. I also have versions of this for microdrive and tape. I'll just pop the floppy disk in and then run the program. And there you have it. What I'll do now is move to focus in on the screen so you can see what's happening there clearly. So Run has loaded the e-reader, if you like, which is the last word word processing software for the Spectrum, plus um, some words of my own which are there to help guide you through loading the chapters and reading the book. I chose the last word software because it has the ability to display different character widths on the screen and the 80 character width matches the text file that I imported from the Gutenberg project very well. Fitting 80 characters onto the spectrum screen means that they need to be squashed. If you look, they're quite narrow. Personally, I've not found that a problem. I think there's one word I struggled with, and that was aluminium. However, if you do find the characters difficult to read, another reason for using the last word software is that you can easily change to either 60 or 40 characters width. You do this by going into extend mode, then doing symbol shift V for video. We can have either 40 or 60. We go to 40. Now you can clearly see the characters. However, the format is not so neat. You can also go into 60 video width as a compromise and the characters look like that but again you're not getting to see the whole page so we'll now just go back to the 81 and as you can see that reads like you'd expect a whole page to read up front, it's all, always useful to know which key gets you out of something if you put in the wrong command. And in this case, it's Shift Q for quit. So if we do the video command, but that was a mistake and we want to get out of it, we just do Shift Q. And we're now back to where we started. Let's look at the files on the disk so you can see how to load a chapter. To do this, you do extended mode and then C for catalog. Answer the prompt for disk one in this Opus version. You don't need a title, just hit enter and it will list all the files. To make it easy to get back to where you were last reading, and for memory reasons. I divided the chapters into separate files. There were a few chapters that needed to be further divided and I divided those into parts A, B and in one case C. To keep it simple my naming convention is for B1, CH1 Book 1, Chapter 1, and likewise, B1, CH 14A means Book 1, Chapter 14A. As you go further into the book, you'll see 
Book 2, Chapter 1, Book 2, Chapter 3, etc. That's because the whole book is actually divided into two books and B2CH1 is Book 2, Chapter 1. In this version, the opus version, the last chapter on Disc 1 is B1CH14A. So for Book 1, Chapter 14B, you need Disc 2. You'll also notice that on this disc there are the files run and WOW1, etc. Those are the program files only. They're not on the subsequent disks. So if you want to load Book 1, Chapter 14b, you need to first run Disk 1 to bring up the e-reader and then put in bis, bis, um, Disk 2 and load Book 1, Chapter 14b from Disk 2. Before you can load, for example, Book 1, Chapter 1, you need to zap what's on the screen already. You do this by going extended mode and then shift to zip for zap and then answering yes to zap file. Now that's only going to zap what's in the memory, not what's on disk. Now you're clear to start and load. You simply do extend mode load. This is from disk 1 and the file name book 1 chapter 1. And there you have it. The beginning of the book, book 1 chapter 1. For reading the book, the most useful keys are extend D which goes down a page so when you get to the end of the page you can just go to the next page or if you do need to go back you just do extend up and you go back a page if you want to explore the last word a bit more um, then uh, or you get stuck then you can do extend mode H and there you have a help menu. Just need to look at the nomenclature to understand what extend mode is represented as, etc, etc. And that's it.